Hi everyone, this is round four of 20 questions. And let me just say that it's been great fun hearing all the responses so far and a bit of a surprise to see how many people have been reaching out. Um, I appreciate that. So let's begin. One, what is the most important shot in all of Twin Peaks? The most important shot. Two, who is speaking here in this first sudden burst of lucidity when Cooper slash Dougie says he's lying? Three, Cole hugs Diane and we later learn that this is Tulpa Diane. Where is the real Diane? And how much does Cole know or sense at this point? Four. It's the bomb scene from part eight. Bob makes some very nice eye contact. Very nice. But with whom? Is he looking at the fireman tauntingly? They do lock eyes later, albeit through the fireman's viewing screen. But who do we think Bob is staring at here? Number five, the last transition in that bomb scene goes from the color red to the color purple. Is that of interest at all? It seems like it might be, but I can't necessarily say how. Six, is it possible that Laura's face is not in this golden orb until Dido has it in her hands for a little bit? There's no definitive way to tell, but I'm not sure how or why this would matter. Unless the fireman creates the force and she selects or directs where it goes. Who knows? Also, if Laura is conceived or created or even selected by the fireman slash Dido as some sort of counteracting force to the experiment or Bob then her task may simply be to withstand their inevitable attacks via massive suffering and ultimately persevere, in some ways a test or test case of the fireman's and Dido's capabilities. Is she a test or test case? That would be weird. Seven, nine years after the bomb, the woodsmen again descend from pure air terrorize and hypnotize the people and walk back into the air to the sound of horses neighing. Did other hatchlings likely make their way into hypnotized bodies as well? Or was it just young Sarah? Eight, probably not, but could the zone, which is located on Sycamore, be the 13th Sycamore? Nine, where did Diane go once her tulpa was created? Some say Nido, reasonable, but I don't know. Red Room? We learned from the Fuscos that no records of Dougie Jones existed before 1997, and also that he had a bad car accident that slowed him down, so to speak. Was there ever a pre-Tulpa Dougie Jones? Also, why make a Tulpa instead of just hacking into somebody's mind for selective use? One would think the skills would be similar enough. Also, it's interesting to think about deep fakes and other elements of our pseudo or proto simulation culture through a tulpa lens. For one thing, it's highly plausible that deep fakes or sims will one day carry the real person's thoughts and memories within them. And that's weird. Is the return a preview of such a culture? 10. Can you think of a Twin Peaks interpretation, big or small, or explanation that has widely been considered canonical that you yourself have since reevaluated or changed your own views on or simply disagree with. 11. Does the woodsman who kills Bill Hastings have a mind of his own? Is he just cleaning up unfinished business at Mr. C's behest or something else? 12. In your opinion, what's the best explanation for the 16 or so scattered hits on Briggs's fingerprints during the 20 plus years he's supposedly been hibernating in the zone 
as seemingly evidenced by his still young 47-year-old corpse. Are there multiple Briggses running around? 13. Is it Leland's fault that Bob wanted and got in? Yes. Yes? This show is terrifying. 14. What are some of your favorite line readings in all of Twin Peaks? Let's Play 2 is definitely one of mine. 15. Who do you think is most human? Judy, Bob, Billy, or Alice? 16. Are any one of the many red chevron rooms that Cooper passes through actually the red room? If so, which one? 17. Is there any Dreams of Deer Meadow stuff going on in The Return, specifically where a new actor appears to be playing a new character, but is actually a surrogate for an existing character to act or to dream through? For example, this is the Desmond as Cooper replacement or Cooper surrogate in Firewalk With Me, according to a must-read essay, must-read in my opinion, called Dreams of Deer Meadow, written quite a while ago by John Thorne. 18. If we were to pluck Larry David out of Curb Your Enthusiasm and set him loose in the world of Twin Peaks, what would happen? 19. Are we to assume that Dale Cooper and Laura Palmer have had no contact in the long 25-year meanwhile, or is that just this particular iteration of Cooper? 20. Quote, he must come back in before you can go out. A sentence with many interesting words. What this means or could mean is interesting both literally and metaphorically, including the words he, in, you, out. How does one get their Mr. C back in? By force, coercion, smarts, patience, etc. All seem to be insufficient here. What's better? What's the best way? And I hope you all have a good day.